In these problems, we're being asked to determine whether two functions are inverses of each other. And um, there's a rule for this. Two functions are inverses if, when you compose them in either direction, they just equal x. So the composition f of g of x would equal x, and the composition g of f of x would have to equal x. So to solve these problems, we just need to take the, those two compositions and figure out what we get. To, to compose uh, g and f here, to, to make f of g of x, you take this function on the inside and you put it inside the other function. So you sub it in for x. So this becomes 6 times x over 6. And here the 6 is cancel and you get x. So that certainly worked. Let's try it in the other direction. We'll take g and plug in f. So we'd get 6x in for the x on top over x. Well, those 6s would cancel again too. You'd just get x. So since both of these compositions are x, these functions are inverses of each other. If you got different values down here, then they would not be inverses. Let's take a look at these two. Boy, just looking at them, I have a feeling we're going to have inverses here as well. But let's let's um, try it. Let's do f of g of x first. So I'm going to take this whole thing and plug it in for x here. So 2 times x plus 3 divided by 2 and minus 3. So we've got uh, a 2 that will cancel. And then we just get x plus 3 minus 3. Aha, uh -huh, so that just becomes x. Let's try it the other way around, where we take this and plug it in here. So that's going to be 2x minus 3. That's for this x up here. And then we have a plus 3. And then we have a divided by 2. So a minus 3 plus 3, that goes away, becomes 0. 2x divided by 2 is just x. So those are indeed inverses of each other, because both the compositions come out to x.